Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today what I have for you, I have some player ratings from the championship which have just been released. So what you're seeing on screen now are the highest rated players in the championship for FIFA 16. So if you do want to go check out these ratings, I will leave a link to Foothead in the description down below. Basically for the championship, the top ratings for the players have been released so if a player is over 70 rated he has now been released onto foothead so i'm bringing you a video on who those players are so as you can see on screen now guys here are all the highest rated players in the championship as you can see there's quite a lot of goals this year and yeah let's just get into it so players like charlie austin and stuart downing and newer all feature in the championship this year joey barton snodgrass shackle and they all have pretty good cards to be honest and i think that in terms of squad builders for the championship, it could be quite interesting to see this year because a couple of these gold players mixed with a couple of silver players would definitely be interesting to see. And there's definitely some fantastic cards that are available to use in the championship this year, guys, especially that newer card. I think that will be used quite a bit, mainly because obviously he's a centre back and he has got 77 pace. Now, on to the next ratings, guys. As you can see, we have some 74 rated silvers here, and there are some, yet again, some pretty good players in here. Players like Matt Phillips, Jordan Rhodes, uh, Jake Livermore, all featuring in here. And some pretty good ratings. So like I said, if you do want to go check these ratings out, I'll leave a link to Foothead in the description down below. But uh, there's definitely going to be some good striker options in the championship this year, guys. And definitely some, you know, different options. You know, you've got players there like Ross McCormack. Aluko, Hernandez, Rhodes, all different types of players and can do different jobs. Also, you've got Antonio there as well. He will not be in the championship, but Foothead obviously haven't updated that. He will be playing for West Ham in the Premier League, but when these came out, um, Antonio was obviously still a Forest player. Now into the next screen, guys, we have some more players, and we have Darren Bent, who, of course, is a Derby player now on a permanent, and his card looks decent, 77 pace, 76 shooting, but a silver card doesn't look too bad at all, as well as having Tom into there, them two getting a strong link, can definitely see them fitting in to some hybrids now and again. And then, then into the next page, guys, we have some more players. Tom Huddleston has had a downgrade this year, and you can see there, 43 pace. That does not look kind on him, but I have a feeling that this Tom Huddleston card will be pretty his long shots should be pretty OP if it goes off you know I've not actually looked at his in-depth stats but if he does have some OP long shots then I can imagine him being quite a fun player to use this season especially with that 79 passing as well then I think he'll be a, definitely a fun player to use. Another player that looks really good here is Benek as you can see that on the bottom row, the third player. He looks like a very strong card this season, and uh, he's got some very well-rounded stats, good pace, good shooting, good physical, good dribbling, and I think that we'll see quite, I think a championship squads this season on Ultimate Team will be quite interesting, but I also think that these ratings are good to see for career mode as well, and looking at some players' potentials. So into the next one, guys, we have another career mode person that will be awesome is Will Hughes obviously the young derby player 73 rated for this year's FIFA guys and some more pretty good players here as well Adoma and McCleary there and Hoylett all very fast wingers which will be very overpowered I'm sure this year yet again in ultimate teams so some pretty good silver cards like I said into the next one guys we have some more players here and not the best players here, I'd say, in terms of stats, but there are some pretty good players. Obviously, Bobby Zamora now playing in the championship for Brighton. And some good players here and there. McGoldrick may be a good option this year. And now into the next one, guys. So if you are disappointed or pleased with, it, with any of the results from... Uh, if you are pleased with any of your ratings that your club's got, leave it in the comments down below. Leave what you think and what you think, you know, players should have got if they didn't get, if that makes sense. So into this screen here, we have David Nugent here, 71 rated. He looks like he'll be a decent card this season as well to use. And so if you do want to look at these players more in depth, just pause the screen, guys as it will be probably going pretty fast if you do want to look at some players in depth stats. But into this page now, oh my god, Dicko looks really good this season, guys. Striker for Wolves, as does Asamba Longa as well. Some very uh, balanced stats. And as you can see there, Jermaine Beck for the Preston, 70 rated, and he's got some pretty good stats as well. He's got an overall booster of plus one, which is really nice to see indeed. 
and uh, yeah, so there's some, some other good players in there as well. And then we are almost done with these uh, ratings, guys, that have been released so far. Into the next one, we have Andy Reid here, the attacking mid from Nottingham Forest. That pace is not kind to him, but yet again, his passing and shooting, it depends how the game mechanics of this FIFA works, but if pace isn't that important, then players like that may be important to some championship squads as well. And then you got players like Donaldson up front of, for Birmingham, of course, 70 rated. He could be a good card to use this year, guys. And uh, definitely some good career mode options for these silver card ratings as well. Then into the last player ratings we have here, we have the last of the 70 rated and 168 rated. I'm not actually sure why he was released, but um, he was in the end, and so he's got a pretty good card, decent pace as well. Aiden Flint there from Bristol City, 70 rated, got a big upgrade from last season. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, make sure you leave a like. If you agree with what EA have given your team's ratings, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be definitely interested to hear what you guys think of all the ratings. And uh, yeah, let me know as well who you're looking forward to doing a career mode with. So uh, I just, but just before I do go, guys, when the Preston player ratings are released, so of course I am a Preston fan, I will be doing a video, a separate video on that as well. But as of now, we've only got Chris Kirkland and Jermaine Beckford whose ratings have been revealed yet so as soon as the press and player ratings are out I will be doing another video on that but uh, yeah apart from that guys thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed make sure you leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one